Hey everyone, this is Martin from howtomakemobilegames.com on April the 27th, uh, what is it? <laughs> 26th, I think? Or 27th, 2018, and I think it's a Thursday. Here in Manchester, England, I'll, I'll just turn down that vol uh, music a little bit, sorry guys. Uh, yeah, it's been, it's been a week or so since I did my last video, and it's been a very busy week. Uh, in this one, I wanted to just give you an update and talk about some ad revenue things and, and also about my thoughts recently on uh, what to do in, in my own business uh, outside of, outside of um, you know, my full-time work. Uh, so, uh, oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this last time. If you're seeing this on YouTube and it's a preview video, uh, it cuts off in a, in a few minutes. So all of the full videos are at howtomakemobilegames.com. Uh, the top section is called the Pro Video section and it's $3 a month subscription and all the videos are on there from all the ones that I've done from, uh, I don't know, two, three years past, something like that, probably longer. Um, so there's like 150 plus videos on there, so definitely if you've seen the preview, go to howtomakemobilegames.com and you can get the full video there. So recently, um, Chart Boost and App Love in Ad Revenue dropped so much, it was a huge drop really really big uh, I think it was the lowest revenue that chart boost and app loving had made for us in the entire time that we've used chart boost and app loving the entire time uh, apart from of course you know the first weeks you know the first few weeks when I was first using chart boost it takes time to go up of course that was lowest point but I mean you know since we've sort of established a bit of uh, stable revenue it's been the lowest point ever I think on our Cobalt Play account, in one day we made seven dollars, and on App Loving we made three. Now, for a long time, App Loving I hadn't focused on them, but recently I did turn on some more App Loving ads again in one of our in some of our Stickman games on iPhone, uh, and that was going up to about I think maybe twenty dollars a day, which is good. That, that's a, that's a nice little boost for a small business, definitely. You know, six hundred dollars a month. Um, so I was quite happy, and uh, I think Chart Boost is sort of bringing in about maybe 40 to 50 dollars something like that on average and th this is just last month maybe uh, maybe 30 to 40 dollars on chart boost and maybe around 20 dollars on app loving so around 50 dollars a day something like that and this was like i say this wasn't too long ago a few weeks ago last month and then all of a sudden i think it was the beginning of april um it was a there was a, a big drop and then just a few days ago or last week I mean it was just I didn't even want to open it to be honest it was just so so low uh, three dollars a day five dollars I think I think maybe it was you know it's dropped from around total of fifty dollars a day around to about 20 on the panda type game side even though we've had our chart boost account now reinstated which is good we're talking like five dollars a day something like that it, it's just pointless it's really pointless uh, app loving on the uh, Panda Top Games side, uh, I don't know, three to five dollars a day. So, um, yeah, a big drop. And then the other thing is, as well, guys, on Oculus, um, hey Roman, if you're listening to this man, this, I know you talked about uh, VR game revenue recently uh, in mobile, and since 2016, you started 2016, it had been dropping and dropping, and last year was was getting worse and worse. It's the same for Oculus as well. I mean, we had, we've only sold, I think, maybe one copy in the past week for five dollars, um, but it totally dropped down. It, it never hit that one a day. That was my target. You know, just one a day uh, was never achieved. So that's that's a real shame, and it's just dropped down. Maybe because it's no longer in the ranks of uh, new releases. Maybe it's like Apple, where they give newer games a bit of a boost and so across all of the uh, the genres you know like if it's in the game section or the um, action section or whatever it gets a bit of a boost that's not happening on the weekend I think we sold maybe three something like that but through the week it's like well one maybe so it's it's kind of pointless to even focus on it now so we've got to do a hard reset a full reset and figure out something new or there's no point in running the business there's no point in doing it at all there's no point in me wasting my time on something that doesn't work you know I, maybe i should have done this a long time ago 
but I've, I'm now, over the past few days, researching more and thinking more and more into real estate.